going to show you how to export uh, a prototype. We'll create a prototype on Envision, but first off, you're going to want to, uh, depending on the format of whatever prototype you're going to create in Envision, um, the, whether it's uh, Illustrator, Photoshop, uh, Experience Design, um, you're going to want to go to your file, export, and I click export as for Adobe Illustrator. And I believe there's a new method on doing this, but I'm gonna do it the old school way. Um, I'm gonna use all my artboards because they're they're all the proper dimensions of an iPhone 6. And uh, I have that, I have my folder created and everything. So let's just go to my mobile app, Prototype V2. I've actually already exported this. So you're gonna wanna click export. And once that's done, you're gonna have all your files. All right. And then from there, I don't need Adobe Illustrator anymore. So I'm gonna minimize that and I'm actually gonna go to, I'm gonna hit Command Tab and go to Google Chrome. Okay, that didn't work. So I'm just gonna go to Google Chrome, man, Google Chrome manually and then I'm gonna go to Envision app, but I will have the link in the description. And then once you are on Envision app, if you've never used it before, you're gonna to wanna to register. And for me, I'm just gonna to have to log in. There might be a pop-up. Let's see, yep, there's a pop-up. Just gonna to have to get past that. Sorry, my computer's acting rather slow. It's kind of weird. And uh, yeah, you're gonna to want to log in. If, you, if you've if created your account, then good. Just, uh, I'll skip this little part. I don't know why it's taking so long to load. Okay, so now, once you're logged in, you'll notice you have My Projects and this little plus button to the right. So we're gonna click on the plus button and then I'm gonna click on Create New Prototype. I'm gonna click on Create and then I'm gonna name it Izzy A's because I did a project on a, on a food truck. It was an ice cream, ice cream food truck. I'm gonna click, and then here's your formats. You got, you got all these here and I'm gonna click on iPhone. Click on iPhone get started and as you can see it'll refresh your page with Izzy A's and uh, you can click you can add an icon for your app if you have the right dimensions but I'm just gonna get to making the prototype so what you're gonna want to do is drag and drop your files and I'm gonna go to my finder and uh, open up my prototype so I have so if you have if you have a loading screen, export everything but the loading screen first, and I'll show you why. So here I have everything I want to import. I'm gonna drag and drop. Boom, simple as that. And then as you can see, once you're done exporting, it'll say there's um, an image you can add over this loading screen. This is where you set your loading screen. So I'm gonna go back, hit Command Tab onto my Finder. Whoops, nope. Okay. I'm gonna click exit on that and then go to my finder and then I'm gonna just drag and drop this PNG and I will have my loading screen set actually you have to click on it you can't just drag and drop over that I don't know why that's specific but it is so I'm gonna go find my uh, exported portable network graphics and then look for the loading screen and there it is. I have my loading screen now and I have everything. So from here, now that I have everything, I'm gonna wanna link everything. So I'm gonna show you the simple, the tools you can use to uh, link your prototype. So I'm gonna click on view screen. And then as you can see on the bottom, the bottom, uh, the footer, I guess you could say, we'll call it the footer here. Um, there is a preview mode, a build mode, comment mode and then there's like an inspect mode which is really cool um, there's a video on it you can manage your assets and source files and like get code you can find the dimensions and heights and all that good stuff and then you can uh, share your prototype so people can comment on it and give you good feedback you can upload the screens and there's all kinds of configuration settings to change like the color of your iPhone and whatnot and uh, we're just gonna go to uh, build mode because we need to start getting to work on our prototype so for me, I'm actually going to make the screen a little s zoomed out. All right, so this is just my loading screen, so I'm just gonna make a big old 
big old uh, whoops. I want to drag that further out. Okay, that's, that's not how it works. What the? F okay, now I I just drag and let go to your desired area on the load loading screen, and then you get to select a destination, and uh, you get a, you're gonna want to scroll down, and I want this to go. I basically have everything in order, so I'm just gonna go to uh, Izzy Ace Prototype iPhone version 2.02, and uh, there's gestures and transitions and. Uh, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna do anything special. I'm just gonna go there, and uh, you just have to tap to go to, and then I'm gonna click save, and then you can shift click to navigate to the next page, and there you go. It works. And then I'm actually gonna create a, I guess you could call it a hotspot on each section. As you can see, I have flavors, topping, specials, and about us. So I'm gonna have flavors, and then I'm gonna select the destination. And the cool thing about this is. From uh, you can hover over each uh, prototype screen. It'll show you which one, so you don't have to to guess rather than just clicking on one, which is a very nice feature by Envision. And I'm also going to make this transition instant. Um, you can you can mess around with all these. They have all kinds of good stuff. Um, I like to keep it simple just to make sure my I don't want to mess with transitions now. I'll do that later in code. But uh, I'm going to click save. I got that. And I'm basically going to do the same exact thing to each one of these uh, hotspots. So notice that if you don't make a perfect uh, selection and you try to make